The moment you lower a woman, you automatically lower the man. The moment you elevate the woman, you elevate the man. How is that so? My teacher, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, where there are no decent women, there are no decent men for the woman. And the black woman in particular is the mother of civilization. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected one, a person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. And as Muslims, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us to respect our women and to protect our women. And then the only time a Muslim really gets real violent is when someone goes to molest his woman. We will kill you for our woman. I'm, I'm making it plain, yes. We will kill you for our woman. We believe that if the white man will do whatever is necessary to see that his woman gets respect and protection, then you and I will never be recognized as men until we stand up like men and place the same penalty over the head of anyone who puts his filthy hands out to put in the direction of our women. Oh, yeah. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Today's topic, we're going to address the topic of the protection of our women and how is it that the black man is wondering why he's not getting any type of respect and I I see a lot of videos going around about a lot of brothers complaining which uh, they have a just cause and reason to do such but in my personal opinion and again I stress the word my opinion I feel that it is both uh, unnecessary and fruitless because of course we have to concentrate on bettering ourselves but at the same token that if we want respect as a nation and as in the community as a whole in the world we have to protect our women and teach and maintain and nurture them because as you heard the two brilliant brothers the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan and the brother Malcolm X peace be upon both of these brothers uh, so eloquently stated that the black woman is the most disrespected precious jewel on the face of this earth and now uh, I'm not making this uh, you, don't have, you don't have to cue the R&B music and anything like that but uh, I love my sisters and I come from the womb of a black woman so I know how pertinent it is to keep pushing these messages out there about you know and um, we're divided we're split I mean you got uh, both male and females worried about men's rights, feminism, gay rights, this type of rights, blah, blah, blah. When we all need to be concentrated on one uh, agenda, and that's the black family, the black agenda. Hey, I'm not acting like I'm the more authority of anybody over here. Because, I mean, a lot of people is not going to listen to me. And the people who are going to listen, uh, some of them going to take what I say and take into consideration others were not but I'm just spitting facts how you gonna say you gonna gain respect of the whole world or your community and if, and you not even protect your women when I did a f few videos about how for lack of a better term I don't like black women being considered community property are they at fault for a lot of this yes I'm not saying that they're not at fault for a lot of this but it's up to us to get our act together. It's the onus falls on us. We supposed to be men. Uh, uh, women uh, ain't supposed to be out in, f in front of the charge, leading the 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 offensive or the attack on whatever endeavor that we have. That we have two different Pacific roles, and we have two uh, different types of purposes that we need to be fulfilled. So the onus falls on us, and. I'm going to put it out like this. You can disagree or you not disagree with me. Uh, I feel that 75% of the effort has to be made on our part to to mend these fences. Because and everybody 
the, you got men out here playing female roles about, well, uh, they gonna have to meet me halfway and all this other stuff. No, it's it's your job to subdue them. And he, I heard a, a comment when I was talking to a brother on another video say, uh, do we supposed to treat them like animals? Uh, but a lot of our women out here are exhibiting this savage behavior. So how do you, in order, you have to, you have to tame a wild savage. And I'm not saying this to disrespect females because a lot of a lot of men out here are savage as well. And I'm just putting this out here to know that, I mean, time is running out. I mean, eventually, and you got people say they've been complaining for 40 years, and so what? I mean, that, that's what women, that's what a lot of women do, complain, talk, and naive. They don't know. They have to be taught. So, we got to get ourselves together. I mean, we don't have a lot of time. So, we're going to have to do that. I mean, how are we going to garner respect as a man or individual when we can't even control our own women? And I'm not saying the control is barefoot and pregnant, beating them and that type of... But, I mean, our communities are failing. I mean, in a large part due to the condition that our women are currently in, the state that they are in. So, I'm going to say this again. And I'm going to repeat the sentiments of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and Brother Malcolm X. Let's talk both of these gentlemen as taught by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and uh, a lot of people seem to forget that that these, both of these brothers was taught by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad so I'm gonna leave it like that and you know we got everybody got to start taking a look in the mirror I mean this is this this video is for the the men out there or the so-called men or the brothers or whatever they want to call themselves I mean because in all actuality in all honesty you know what I'm saying us sitting by complaining about what they doing and, and playing tit for tat I mean that's not productive that's counterproductive so first we got to worry about getting ourselves in order so once we get ourselves in order then we can come and claim our women and on that note I know I'm just a little biased and peace be upon you it's a boy the black man and black woman have no birth, no beginning, and no ending before Alpha and after Omega. History and history record the black father and mother of morality, medicine, music, and mathematics. The father and mother of all the nations of religion, philosophy, art, science, and civilization. No birth left. All they can say about the black man is he was, he is, and he shall be. Before him there were none, and after him there will be no more. Before we can make a way for the peacemaker, we must kill and get rid of the peace breaker.